Welcome. Today we will be learning how to create a simple vector design to upload to your Spreadshop for publishing merchandise. So to create a vector design you may want to start in Adobe Illustrator, opening a file and jumping right in to the plethora of tools Adobe has to offer. But say you don't have Illustrator. There's other free vector design software out on the market. One I like to use is Inkscape. Opening Inkscape, we see there's a lot of tools at our disposal. There is a Select and Transform tool, an Edit Paths tool, Tweak Objects, a Zoom tool. There's a Rectangle tool, a Circle tool, Polygon and Star tool, a Text tool. We're going to focus on using a Text tool and the Rectangles and Square tool. So let's zoom into the artboard so we can see what we're working on and we'll drag a text box across the artboard. My design is going to say awesome. Now we'll resize our font, select a font type we like. I like this one, it's kind of fun, whimsical. We can also drag the corners of our font out and resize and reshape our font. We also want to expand our font so we can work with it as if it's an object. So with our text box selected, we head up to the path menu and select object to path. This will create each letter as an individual shape that we can then manipulate using the path manipulation tool. So just for fun, let's zoom in and say you don't really like how this O is shaped. Using the path manipulation tool, you can grab an anchor point and move it. Let's undo that. I don't really like that though. You could also maybe modify the W. So let's grab the anchor tool, pull the anchor up and cross it over. Hmm, that also looks kind of funny, but you get the idea. There's a lot you can do once your font is a path, but I like my font to remain how it was out of the box, but my design's not done. I'm going to add a rectangle underneath. I kind of like the contrasting solid bar. Maybe I'll duplicate it and add one above. I like the script font and the contrasting solid bar. I think it makes for a nice design. There's also the polygon tool and the star tool. You can add a bunch of shapes, different corners. You can erase certain elements to modify different shapes. But let's say this is the design we want. So head to File, Save As, rename your file to something recognizable so we can find it later. Make sure you have the file type SVG and hit Save. Now head on over to that partner area to upload this design. Clicking on the Design tab, you can drag and drop this design we just created. And once it's uploaded, click on the Pencil Edit icon to start creating merchandise. The cool thing with a vector design is there's so many merch options you can publish to with a vector design. Let's focus on some of the cooler accessories, like a hat. And we'll shut off the options for men's merchandise just for the time being for this demo. So let's edit this hat. Change it to a gray hat and click on the pencil edit icon. The cool thing with a vector design is now you have the option within the partner area to change the color of your design. Find this rainbow on the right side and click through till you find an awesome color you like working with. You can also on the left change the color of the merchandise, the hat in this case, and just find a color combination that you think works well with your design. I like this one, red, white, and blue, awesome hat. You can also resize the design on the hat. You can turn and twist the design, but let's keep ours simple. Let's keep it straight and centered on the hat and nice and big. That's an awesome hat. Clicking done creates this as your merchandise option for a hat. We can also change other accessories like the water bottle, 
twisting the design on the water bottle, also changing the color of the water bottle, and changing the design color as well. The options are really all up to you. Choosing the right combinations of colors and merchandise for your shop are totally up to your discretion. You can turn off whichever merchandise options you want or turn on and edit each one individually, readjusting the design size and color till you find a merchandise assortment that works great for your shop. Clicking next allows you to title this design, add a description for this design, and add some tags so it can be better found on the Spreadshirt Marketplace and in your spread shop. Clicking next again allows you to select your point of sale. You can sell this design in the marketplace or sell these products in any of your shops. Clicking the corresponding green check marks allows for this to happen. Clicking next, you will be able to add a design price to your design and clicking create will publish your design and these products to the predefined points of sale. Now you have learned how to upload a super simple vector design to your spread shop. And now you can continue creating as many merchandise options for your fans as you wish. Happy selling.